Lesson 8-7, we will be solving inequalities by adding or subtracting. So this is pretty similar to the rules we follow when solving equations with adding and subtracting, except for now, instead of an equal sign, we'll have a greater, less than, or greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to symbol. So the same uh, properties of inequality apply as long as you add 5 to one side, as long as you do the same thing to both sides. Um, it does remain true. So we're going to follow the same rules as we did with solving algebra equations. So for the first thing, we will copy the equation or the inequality. 21 is greater than or equal to d plus negative 8. Notice I'm changing the subtraction to addition. So to get rid of the negative 8, we will add 8 to both sides. And so I'm left with uh, d over here. And the symbol does not change. It comes down the exact same way. All right, so if I owe $21 and I have $8, um, that means I'm still going to owe $13. So I'll have my 13 in here. So that means to satisfy this inequality, D must be, or in other words, you read it left to right, negative 13 is greater than or equal to D. Uh, so, so in order for this statement or sentence to be true, negative 13 is the greatest number we can have in here because negative 13 plus negative 8 is negative 21, and that's as close as we can get because it's greater than or equal to. So for example, 2, we'll copy this down, y plus 5 is greater than 11. Subtract 5 from both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So y is greater than 6. So again, notice the inequality comes down the exact same way. It does not change uh, or flip at all. All right, so now we'll have to write an equation, and then uh, we can work to solve it. So Kata took $12 to the bowling alley. Shoe rental costs three seventy-five. dollars What is the most he could spend on games and snacks. So shoe rental is three dollars and seventy five cents. We have three dollars and seventy five cents plus I'm going to say G and G represents um, games and snacks. And then that obviously cannot be cannot be greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal to how much money he has. He has $12 total. So in order to find out how much money we have extra, we have to get rid of this 375 on both sides. And so we're going to be left with G is less than or equal to. Okay, and if you need to, you could jump onto a calculator here, or you think of it as uh, 12 minus 3, we have 9. And then uh, there's that extra 75 cents there that we're going to subtract from, from the $9. So um, if you think of $9 and we're going to subtract an extra 75 cents, you're only going to have 825 left. So Kata cannot spend more than 825. Uh, he can spend 825 and then he wouldn't have anything left. Uh, but he can spend any amount up to 825, uh, including 825, which is why we have this equal to symbol. All right, I know that was a really short video for today, uh, but that is the basics of solving inequalities by adding or subtracting. Uh, if you'd like to watch more examples, you can check out the online tutorials. Um, and then for our assignment, you can also check the step-by-step -step homework helper for extra help.